Good morning, America. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to the smartest, the most active, and the most intelligent audience in the world. Welcome. The last president and his cronies are in big, big trouble. As the last president remains in a foreign nation far, far away from the United States, evidence is building that he and his staff are guilty of treason at so many levels. First, let's discuss why you're here on YouTube and not watching TV. We went to a friend's house last night for dinner to watch him cook with a special kind of crock pot. And uh, we were there from 6 p.m. till 9.30 and Fox News played on the television in the background. And it was the most boring dribble. It was irritating as well. We don't have a TV. So whatever the TV does to your brain, boy, it did it in spades to us last night. It was horrible. And they covered in three and a half hours. That's 210 minutes of your precious time. All they babbled about were two stories. One, some illegal alien who has a criminal record, raped and cut up a little girl. And second, why Paul Ryan didn't submit a vote to Congress on ending Obamacare. We know that illegal aliens murdered 9,200 Americans last year and have been doing so since the 1980s. And this freak of a college professor, I believe he was a professor, who's an immigrant who got a job over an American, was talking about how illegal aliens are helping America. Really? You know, we have 15 million of them here. They, they're here illegally. They need to be shipped home like every other country does. We've just had 40 years of pigs in the White House. President Trump wants Obamacare. The second thing that happened was Paul Ryan tried to get a vote to um, end Obamacare. And President Trump clearly said, leave it alone, Paul Ryan. You know, forget it. If we get a vote, we get a vote. If we don't, we don't. It's going to implode. All of Obama's cronies will go down in flames. Broke. Obamacare would be considered treason. So for three and a half for three and a half hours, we listen to this garbage, and it's like, oh my God, two stories covered. This is such dribble. They go through this loop over and over and over again. So let's give you the news in 15 minutes in a way that we can stop these shenanigans from going on. So here's the news today. First, Congressman Devin Nunes, chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, stated that President Trump was indeed spied on. President Trump and his associates in and... And, and there were quite a few ands in this, President Trump and his associates, associates, and the information was widely disseminated among intelligence communities. Basically what he's saying is yes, President Trump was spied on, and yes, the Democrats used this information against him during the elections. But you know, he's going to continue to investigate this. And he's going to try and look for the truth, but he already knows who did it. He knows why it was done, where the information went. He's simply waiting for President Obama to flip the switch, and the arrest will begin, and the tribunals will begin. Tribunal is a special type of trial for treason. He already knows all of this. Secondly, the Supreme Court, uh, if we can get rid of the ads, the U.S. Supreme Court rules against Obama, says he violated the Constitution by appointing National Labor Relations Board, counsel without Senate approval. He knew better. He's supposed to be a constitutional lawyer, and yet when asked what the first word in the Constitution was, he didn't know. Remember? Remember? We the people? Uh-huh. That's right, President Obama. You're in trouble. Now, this ruling in, in itself is not meaningful, except when you consider the long-term consequences, as those, basically, the world is turning against those who would crack this planet in half. They have turned against President Obama. Third, and this is, well, we'll talk about this later, but Donald Trump has undone the, anti -fra the fracking regulations Obama put in office. Those who commit fracking should be arrested for murder. Boy, what a freak that guy is. Live bound. Third, in a bizarre move reminiscent of Adolf Hitler <clears throat> and his Nazi regime, someone is trying to shut down the train into Manhattan and out of Manhattan from New Jersey. They're trying to shut this train down. Why? Because it, it blocks about 20 blocks south of the Trump Towers. 
Maybe because Trump does his business in New York, so they're trying to shut down the primary trains into New York? Uh, please keep in mind when, when you hear about these stories, George Soros owns all rail lines in America where Amtrak runs maintenance. And where the, you know Amtrak runs on tracks, and George Soros owns all those tracks. And maintenance and security on our rail lines is horrible today. His associates need to be hauled into court and asked, why they've taken so much money in rent and not pump, pumped it back into, into uh, supporting the rail lines. So on the 18th of September, that's not too long ago. Remember, I believe Trump was nominated June or July. On the 18th of September, a bomb blew up on the way into Manhattan, shutting down service. Recently, on the 17th of March, a man struck by a train claims he had a bomb headed into New York shutting down the trains. 19 March, a man with a bomb found headed into Manhattan. He was found with a bomb headed into Manhattan. And then if yesterday, an Amtrak trail, this is Friday night, right? Yeah, trains are packed. Everybody's packing on and an Amtrak tra train absolutely runs off the tracks. Fresh bomb threat, explosion in New Jersey train, man struck by train in Hillside allegedly claimed to have a bomb. Chair Here's the Amtrak. Amtrak train derails at Penn Station, smashes into New Jersey train, all train service in and out of Manhattan halted. Was it a lot of damage? No. Could they have run the trains? Yeah. But instead, Friday night, somebody chose to strand, I don't know how many people were on this train, a million? They could have run the train. They did not. They shut all train service out of Manhattan down on Friday night. And I'm told I've missed about half a dozen to a dozen bomb threats. Somebody wants this train going from New Jersey into Manhattan block going both ways. They're going to an awful lot of effort to do this. Um, and we believe that Black Lives... Somebody's going to a lot of effort to shut down Manhattan as we believe that Black Lives Matters rally that begins 15 April 2017 across the globe is now going to target New York, primarily Manhattan, London, Berlin, Sofia, because um, those in Romania, I think it's Sofia in Romania, the capital of Romania, and Paris, are going to target those capitals to shut them down. Fourth, there are things called protected zones. You can look them up on the internet across the nation filled with Muslim terrorists. They will be released to conduct terror across America as they implement Project Containment. This is a top secret program, uh, Project Containment, to shut, to shut America down. This is why all the checkpoints have been set up across the nation, especially in the southern U.S., Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi. You'll see checkpoints kind of on the side of the freeway or the highway. The reason they've done that is they plan to shut America down as they create huge terror in American cities. And if Comey has his way, there will be six nukes going off in America and 12 going off in Europe. So we're praying that the FBI and all their cronies are shut down and every evil act that they're trying to do fails. You see, they want hell on earth in exactly 21 days. They want America to experience hell on earth as thousands of their Muslim buddies run into American cities with machine guns and try to shut America down. Well, America's armed, and we shoot back, Director Comey. So we need to pray that he and all his Nazi cronies fail, and that all these illegal aliens, because there are all illegal aliens and felons in these no-go zones, need to be shipped out of this country as soon as possible. Period. This Comey is evil as the day is long on the 20th of June. Fifth, we will be seeing the end of sea life in the Pacific. Deep sea Pacific Ocean is broken and dead, devoid of life for thousands of miles where it used to be filled with life. Tide pools from Mexico to British Columbia are sterilized, devoid of 99% of what used to be there. Jacques Cousteau was pulled off the air because he clearly said, we're killing the oceans. That was the end of Jacques Cousteau, and his wife wants nothing more to do with this planet. 
PMSNBC discusses Earth's dying oceans. Well, if PSNBC discusses it, maybe they're wrong. But what we've seen in the oceans is a huge die-off of sea life. Call it the warming of the planet. Call it Fukushima with 4 million pounds of radioactive material leaking into the ocean. Call it the China meltdown because there's a 10 by 10 hole in Fukushima. Call it all the iodine-131 being released by the oil companies to track down natural gas leaks across the natural gas lines of Europe. Call it the spraying. Call it whatever you want. But the ocean is becoming devoid of life. Combine that with the spraying of our crops to kill our crops, the black spray clouds, which when they drip on our crops kill them, and putting... Uh, contaminated material in our in the fertilizers they're forcing the farmers to use so when you eat things like GMO wheat and GMO corn you're getting um, toxic wastes and it's also clogging the soil what we're seeing is crop and the floods and the cold weather and the droughts we're seeing huge reduction in food production all across this planet this can be reversed all of this can be reversed within 20 within 12 months we just need to, the will to do it in the White House. So we pray that President Trump can and will end these things that are happening. Um, and we saw President Trump outlawing fracking. You do not inject five gallons of benzene into the soil to get one gallon of oil out of the soil unless your plan is to kill humans. So those who have been fracking need to be arrested and hauled into court and tried for premeditated murder. It's called first-degree murder. Let's pray. Let's visualize that President Trump orders the arrest of all these guilty of fracking and puts them on trial for first-degree murder. That's what they're doing, first-degree murder. Okay, the savings tip of the day. I got phone calls and texts yesterday um, as to why I take two Advil, every, liquid Advil every morning. Uh, and since this is your channel and you... Direct us as to what to talk about. Uh, we will answer your questions. So we're pushing, we are pushing the anti-aging to the max. By God, we're growing older and we're fighting in every wrinkle, every step of the way. And we're forcing our DNA to add telomeres to their ends, thus changing the molecular structure of our own DNA. These molecular changes can cause a lot of pain, something we're now just learning about from our friends from the, the from our friends in the Sayre's Agenda book. They're confirming that this pushing of resveratrol with the other compounds we're eating and reversing the aging process causes a lot of pain. So we're increasing our doses of resveratrol and our other stuff, like seaweed, to force the molecular changes and countering the pain with liquid Advil. We use one drop of Immucyst for every pound I am, so I eat 22 drops per day of Immucyst, three drops of Citricare, which enhances the Immucyst enormously. We eat a tablespoon of seaweed every day. I add some vitamin C and D, because seaweed does not have vitamin C and D, and our food is devoid of vitamins and minerals. So that's why we eat those. And in Get the Tea, we eat the Life Change Tea, the Eighth Element Pine Bark Extract, and Grapeseed Extract, because the three of them each contain resveratrol. And it's a little bit different. So by using three different forms of resveratrol, we're forcing our telomeres to change. And I wake up every morning and I eat two Ceylon cinnamons in my coffee or tea. First of all, it makes the tea taste better. Second of all, I feel better. Third of all, it's supposed to help with blood sugar, which I don't really care about because I'm eating Immucyst. However, I like get the tea Ceylon cinnamon. It works better than the big, huge hunk of cinnamon tablets I get online. Uh, and then we have a few extra ingredients. And no GMO. That's why we went for Food for Liberty and the other food company where we do a cooking channel on. Because we don't want GMO foods. Um, the top three ingredients, of course, the Immucis, Citricare, and Seaweed we use to cure cancer. We use it to cure autism, malaria, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Pick a corner. Diabetes, reversing stroke damage. All done with Immucis, Citricare, and Seaweed. And we added Get the Tea, Life Change Tea to this mix because it seems to enhance Immucis, Citricare, and Seaweed. So um, please pray that, Trump, that the Trump administration has the will to arrest those who are 
committing treason, and then once they're arrested, throws away the key. Please also pray that your families can weather what is coming and be ready, just like your grandfathers were. You know, my dad, my grandpa used to say we have extra food just in case the creek rises. And sometimes in New Jersey, the creek did rise and it did wash out the bridge and they did have enough food to winter on. So um, I want to thank you for your time. You are the coolest audience in the world. So in 15 minutes, we covered what Fox News cannot cover in 24 hours and will not cover. How many do you really think do you really think that Fox News will cover the shutting down of the train line into Manhattan? Yeah, right. Do you really think that Fox News will cover um, fracking regulations or the Supreme Court ruling against President Obama or the House Intelligence Committee saying uh, that we know who did it, we know why they did it, and NSA proves that there was surveillance on President Trump? Yeah, I don't think so. They're going to cover a couple of silly old stories about some illegal alien raping a child. We need to send them back. They're here illegally. Illegal. Part of illegal do the, does the left not understand. You really think they're going to cover the fact that the oceans are dying? Nah. So you get more news here in 15 minutes than you will on almost every other news channel. And you're able to put it together and pray. We're praying right now that the Pacific Ocean is returned to back to where it is. We're praying that the land is returned. We have the formulas to reverse all of this damage. And it can all be done within a year. We just need the political will. We have the radionics machine right here, which literally dissolves radiation. We know how to put up a lightning rod to neutralize the Fukushima and the Norway nuclear reactors and the 100,000 nuclear rods there. We have the methods to heal the land. The Cure for Tree Disease, it's a video. We have the methods to heal the oceans. Coming to you live, Dr. William B. Mount. Thank you. You are the coolest audience. And good night.